Today, we're in Proverbs 20. You know, I spent years going through the Proverbs, reading the proverb for that day. There are 31 Proverbs, so one for each day of the month. And I always try to find one takeaway that I can use in my life to bring me into alignment with God's will. Today, I want to take away a couple of these verses. First, let's look at Proverbs 20, 24. It says, A man's steps are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Does it not bring peace to know that when you are walking with God and in His will, that He already has your next steps lined out for you? That you can simply take the next step He has placed in front of you. So many times in my life, I have tried to jump ahead of God and leapfrog to the next area and pass the next character building thing that God has placed before me just because I believed I was ready for something that God knew I wasn't ready for. I end up having to backtrack and get back in line with the steps God had already established for me. Psalms 33, 23, and 24, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. The term ordered here is a Hebrew verb that means to guide, direct, or make reliable. In other words, the person who has committed his way to God has his steps guided, directed, and made reliable by God. God will guard them and make sure they are secure in those steps. Is it not amazing to know that God is right there, ready to lead us if we will simply give our walk to Him? What is even cooler here is that it says He delights in doing that. To think that God, the creator of the universe, takes pleasure in walking with you and me as we do life in His will. So okay, let's look at one other verse that stuck out to me. This time in Proverbs 20, verse 29. The glory of young men is their strength, and the splendor of old men is their gray head. So where am I in this? I'm kind of in between both of these, looking forward and looking back. I can't do the things I once did, but I also, in my opinion, am not that old, even though the chrome is beginning to shine through. One thing this verse brought to mind is the value of discipleship. You have to be saying, how in the world did you pull that out of this verse? What if the glory of the strength of the young person is shared with the old person, and the splendor of the old person and his wisdom is shared with the younger man? We all know that the Bible says gray hair is a sign of wisdom and a long life lived well. We have seen this in our church through Pastor John and Pastor Neil as they have transitioned leadership in an amazing way by Pastor John providing support and direction from his many years of ministry experience. And with Pastor Neil bringing in fresh vision, ideas, and fresh strength to the body of Christ. See, the balance of that is invaluable to both of them, and to the staff here, and to the body of Coastline. See, who are you pouring into today? If you have strength, are you giving to the older, wiser person in your life? Or are you older and have some wisdom that you can share with the next younger generation? See, take what God has given you, and no matter what or where you are, invest back into the people in your sphere of influence. I will leave you with this verse from Psalms 154, verse 4. Let each generation tell its children of your mighty acts. Let them proclaim your power.